नमस्कार टुडे उल स्टडी द डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ स्किन पिगमेंटेशन एंड देयर कैन बी थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वन इज अल्बिनिज्म सेकंड इज हाइपर पिगमेंटेशन एंड थर्ड इज हाइपो पिगमेंटेशन सो द स्किन पिगमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड मेलानिन एंड मेलानिन इज द स्किन पिगमेंट एंड द सेल्स इन व्हिच इट इज सिंथेसाइज्ड इज कॉल्ड मेलानोसाइट्स Uh, a type of cell in the skin and this melanin is uh, synthesized from the amino acid tyrosine and tyrosine uh, by the action of tyrosinase uh, it will uh, be converted to dopa quinone first there will be formation of dopa dihydroxyphenylalanine from tyrosine then it will be converted to dopa quinone then a series of uh, changes will be there uh, dopa quinone will be convert, converted to leuco dopa chrome then dopa chrome and uh, um, finally melanochrome and uh, then melanin and this melanin is the uh, skin pigment uh, we call it skin pigment because it uh, it provides the skin color so higher the quantity of melanin darker the color of the skin and when uh, this melanin is uh, uh, deficient that will cause uh, hypopigmentation or melanin is not there and hyper hyperpigmentation means increased uh, uh, quantity of melanin is there so mainly during uh, uh, after an inflammation uh, there is uh, uh, hyperpigmentation uh, for example uh, acne acne uh, uh, if there are episodes of acne and there will be uh, inflammation and there will be overproduction of melanin and hyperpigmentation will be there and dark spots on the skin uh, more often in the darker skin people will be there so that is your hyperpigmentation and in similar situations there will be hyperpigmentation so to treat that we can use the tyrosinase inhibitor so that melanin synthesis can be inhibited and uh, we, we call uh, this is azelaic acid corticosteroids they can inhibit tyrosinase activity and synth decrease the synthesis of melanin then uh, albinism albinism is an inherited inability to synthesize uh, melanin though the melanocytes are present uh, in albinism patient, albinism uh, persons albino uh, persons and uh, since melanin is uh, absent because melanin is uh, not synthesized they, they have the they don't have the ability this is uh, uh, inherited inability and melanin is absent in hair eyes and skin of these people then hypopigmentation vitiligo is a skin disorder uh, uh, which is uh, uh, characterized by your hypopigmentation and uh, this vitiligo is a uh, is an acquired progressive disorder and the causes may be your autoimmune disease uh, or maybe sometimes hereditary one in uh, three patients uh, have a family history of uh, vitiligo and what happens in vitiligo there is uh, hypopigmentation or depigmentation of the epidermis uh, because of loss of melanin and uh, some or all melanocytes in the interfollicular epidermis and occasionally in hair follicles are selectively destroyed which results in white spot uh, or patches uh, and it can affect any any skin area and the appearance of the skin uh, will cause distress uh, and uh, there is no other associated symptom only it is cosmetic one the appearance of the uh, skin uh, will be uh, something which which will cause distress to the person so drugs for vitiligo we can use immunosuppressants which will inhibit the immune mediated melanocyte destruction and it includes the steroids uh, uh, in the form of creams ointments uh, like betamethasone dexamethasone hydrocortisone mometasone halcyonide then uh, the immunosuppressant uh, uh, which inhibit the production and action of interleukin 2 that is your tacrolimus uh, ointment 
and uh, this tacrolimus is most effective for vitiligo on the face in addition to this immunosuppressant action it also uh, increases the tyrosinase activity so it can increase the pigmentation then the second uh, is phototherapy we can use phototherapy and here we use puva that is soralen plus uva as uh, we have discussed before Mm, the UV range is uh, 200, uh, 200 to 400 nanometer and uh, the wavelength is 200 nanometer to 400 nan nanometer and uh, out of this the 320 to 400 nanometer is called UVA and 290 to the 320 is called UVB and the rest UVC and uh, uva uh, uh, this soralen plus this long wavelength uh, uv light uva uh, is uh, considered here and this soralen like methoxalen trioxalen uh, they, they can be used both orally as well as topically and so they are first uh, uh, administered uh, either orally or or topically followed by your exposure to uva light or long wave UV radiation. So what these soralens do? These soralens have uh, in their structure a furan or uh, pyrone which binds to the pyrimidine bases uh, through covalent binding and cause intercalation of DNA and mostly there will be formation of thymine uh, dimers. So the, it will in, uh, interfere the DNA synthesis, it will interfere uh, mitosis. So it will be cytotoxic and uh, immunosuppression action uh, immunosuppression action will be there so immunosuppression will be there and uh, it also uh, this so the lens uh, uh, followed by your uv uh, a exposure increases the cyclic amp activity which in increase the synthesis of tyrosine and stimulate melanin synthesis causing repigmentation and uh, so this phototherapy can also cause repigmentation in addition to immunosuppression. So th these drugs if used orally, the soralens if used orally, after 12 hours uh, uh, of administration of soralens, uh, the patient undergoes UVA exposure. Then we can use bleaching agents or depigmenting agents uh, because uh, 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 in vitiligo patients, there is uneven appearance of the skin due to, uh, due to loss of skin color in patches in some areas. So, by using bleaching agent, uh, the whole uh, uh, body surface can be depigmented and uh, it, there will be uniform color. And for that, also, if some, uh, in some patients, these bleaching agents or depigmenting agents are used and they actually lighten the skin. Uh, which is discolored by melanin. So hydroquinone, monobenzone, which is the, uh, the derivative of hydroquinone, azelaic acid, they can be used and they uh, inhibit the tyrosinase and increase the elimination of melanin. And this monobenzone, this increases the elimination of melanin from skin cells and uh, cause, can cause irreversible depigmentation because uh, uh, this uh, monobenzone is associated with uh, death of the melanocytes. In some patients, there can be artificial tanning uh, uh, preparations, use of artificial tanning preparations. They, uh, they can be painted with uh, 1 to 2 percent of uh, dihydroxyacetone in 50-50 uh, water and acetone. So, these, they, these are all about uh, treatment of vitiligo. Thank you.